hi guys welcome back so today we will see one uh, real time uh, tosca interview question okay so this question was asked by one of my subscriber okay so well, let me show you like as you can see in my screen i have opened a website where like one two three six seven check boxes are there okay so this check boxes um, like now we have seven so it is dynamic like sometimes we may have three sometimes we have four sometimes five so it is not static like always it will be seven so the requirement is like we have to click on second last check box okay so now we have seven check boxes so we have to click on sixth checkbox that is second last suppose tomorrow if i have uh, uh, five checkbox then i have to click on second last that is that means fourth checkbox okay so we'll see today like uh, how we can achieve uh, this requirement okay so let me quickly scan Okay, I have just scanned one checkbox. Okay, ID checkbox and uh, tag input. Okay, tag input. Okay, ID checkbox. Fine. Oh, sorry. Okay. Let me select. Okay. <coughs> now, ID checkbox tag input. Okay. So so i think id will be same tag will be input okay <clears throat> let's see for other controls also for that also i think properties all properties will be same that's fine okay we'll take one checkbox okay we'll rename it as checkbox let it be uh, not unique Okay, save it, close it. Okay, checkbox we have. <coughs> okay, let me drag and drop. Okay, in this checkbox, okay, if I, I want to first count how many checkboxes are available. Okay, RC buffer okay let me just run and see whether it will give me count or not okay so test case is showing as passed let's see okay buffer with rc has been set to 7 okay so we got the count as seven since we have three three six seven checkbox okay so now what we have to do we have to click on second last checkbox so what we will do for that just for that what we have to do we have to just define one configuration parameter called explicit name okay so if anyone not aware of uh, explicit name then they can go and they can uh, watch that video on explicit name 
okay it is already available okay in my channel i have already explained it before so they can watch that video and they can come back here to get better understanding okay so i have defined explicit name as true now what i will do uh, just i will copy the same step and I will paste and i will just rename it okay like click on second last checkbox this naming convention is very important uh, in tosca not in tosca for any automation okay so that uh, suppose you are working if you don't use any naming convention also you will understand okay this step is doing uh, this operation but suppose if any new person is coming he won't be able to see by reading this uh, test step okay he has to go inside and see what all operations you are performing but if you uh, give the proper naming use the proper naming convention it will be easy for anyone who joins newly to your team by reading this a test step only he will come to know okay inside that we are performing this operation like that suppose get the checkbox counter checkbox so if someone comes and read okay get the checkbox count means uh, we are taking the count of the checkboxes that is the benefit of uh, uh, naming convention okay so in, since i have given uh, checkbox explicit name is true i have defined uh, configuration parameter so i can change here name and instead of checkbox what i will give here i will pass i already have um uh, count in, in buffer okay so what i will do i will apply math function okay let me just write it and i will tell you explain it okay so what it will do here just let me do one thing i will just pass hash one okay let's just i will just here pass true and input okay let me run this and show you i have given hash one means first checkbox it should check okay it should click on first checkbox okay it has clicked on first checkbox why it has clicked on first checkbox because i have defined one configuration parameter explicit name equals to true so what explicit name will do it will try to identify the objects okay based on the index number okay so here i have passed hash one so what we have to do our requirement is like we have to select the second last checkbox second last last checkbox means total checkbox minus one so we have the total checkbox okay in buffer of rc okay in buffer of rc we have total checkbox so now if i run what it will do has buffer of rc rc is nothing but a total count is seven it will click on seventh checkbox but we want second last that means seven minus one so what we will do here we will do minus one so if you want to perform any math operation you have to follow some syntax so what i will do i will just remove this okay i will just type math syntax this is the syntax of math in between we will pass a buffer of rc minus 1 so this what this syntax what it will do it will do total count minus 1 that is 7 minus 1 6 hash of six means second last it should click okay now let me run this full step okay it has it it should click on 
this second last sixth one okay yes it it clicked on the second last checkbox okay this was our expectation now let me do one thing let me click on remove okay now <coughs> let me first refresh this page okay now we have one checkbox we'll remove it we'll add one checkbox and what we will do i will go to inspect and uh, what i will do i will just change this to add okay so one more add button came okay again what i will do i will click on i will just change to add or game okay and one last i will add okay i will just close now we have four check boxes earlier we had seven now we have four so now i will not do any changes in the script my script should work for any number of check boxes okay now i have four check boxes so it should click on third check box see here i will i am not doing any change i am just running the same test case so expectation is it should click on third check box see it has clicked on third check box okay just see here total count is 4 and it has clicked on buffer of rc minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 3 so this is how we can handle uh, this dynamic things okay okay so um the first time who is watching this video and not aware of explicit name please watch the video on explicit name then it will be very easy to understand okay okay guys that's all for this scenario we'll meet for again with the new scenario okay till that time bye bye take care